Hey, what's up you guys? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays and Nova Prime Access has just dropped. So it's about time for another round of fanboying. Now I am going to have to pause for a quick disclaimer before I go off about Nova Prime and her Minnie Mouse looking ass. So do me a huge favor and keep all of the shoulda coulda wouldas about who should have been primed next and how Nova shouldn't even be a prime out of the comment section. I understand your frustration, but this is what we have, this is what has been released, so get over yourself and haters to the motherfucking left. Okay, so let's start off with Nova Prime. Can I say, holy shit, Minnie Mouse looks fucking badass. I genuinely don't know where the inspiration of this came from. Straight off the bat, she doesn't look like too much, but when you realize that the panels on her helmet move as well as the panels on her back, I, I have to say, it is pretty slick. While some of the coloration is a bit odd to work with, she's got weird patterning that just doesn't necessarily feel Orokin. In general, I think she looks pretty good. Now, not quite as good as Loki Prime, but you can definitely tell that they put some effort into her. And in addition, she is the first Prime you can change the gold lining in, so needless to say, I'm pretty fucking happy. So Nova sports higher base shield and higher base energy. What the fuck? And in addition, she gains an extra V polarity slot. Whether we needed the extra V or not, I still don't feel right about it. I might end up modding that out, but after a single forma, she is running my Slova build pretty decently. Now moving on to another fan favorite, the Soma Prime. Now, straight off the bat, I have to say, it's a little too ornate for me, but then again, this is the Orokin, so you can't really fault them for being too ornate. It's kind of what they do. So its base damage jumps from 10 points to a whopping 12 points of damage. Yeah, the base damage does not get too much of a bump. Its status goes from 7% to 10%, which is a 3% increase. However, its magazine size does go from 100 to 200 per clip, and its max ammo goes from 540 to 800. So slightly better ammo efficiency, slightly better ammo economy, but to be honest, it's just a slight improvement. It does look pretty good though. Next, we're taking a look at the Vasto Prime. Now, I really don't pay too much attention to it because it is a single pistol and I'm still waiting for my Aklex. I want the axe, okay? I don't want this single weapon bullshit. Can you get to work on that? Regardless, its base goes from 50 to 60. However, it does trade some of its puncture and impact for more slashing. It has a slight increase in fire rate. It's got its status bump by 10%, which is pretty damn good. And its critical multiplier also gets a boost, which works fairly well with it to make critical chance. So all in all, definitely not a bad upgrade. I just want to see the akimbo versions though. And last but not least, the two things included in the accessories pack, which is the Valorian Prime Sigil and the Pyra Prime Cyan Dana. Now, the Valorian Prime Sigil looks fucking badass. I'm gonna have to try this on a bunch of different primes just to see exactly how it looks, but I can see it looking pretty damn good on a whole lot of them. And it's a nice change if you don't really want to bulk up your primes with the Targus armor set. Now, as for the Pyra Prime Cyan Dana, you know, I don't like the way that they handle dangly bits, but I do have to say, fuck. Fuck, this looks good. This looks fucking good. There are no words to express how I feel about this because... <sighs> oh, the fanboying is real. The fanboying is fucking real. Now, as to where you can find all of the Prime pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and link you to the post in the forums as well as the post that they have on the wikis, and those will slowly reveal themselves in time. As for me, I don't really give a fuck because I got Prime access, so that is that. So that pretty much wraps up this round of fanboying. All in all, I have to say I give Nova Prime two thumbs up. Soma Prime, yeah, I'll, I'll give it one thumbs up. Vasto Prime, fucking call me when you become an akimbo version, all right? And as for the Prime accessories, even though I'm still not necessarily a fan of the dangly bits on the Pyra Prime side, and uh, all good, all good. If you can get it, go get it. Anyway, that's about it. I'm gonna go and toss the fourth Forma on my Soma and yet another Forma on my Nova Prime. So you guys take care and I'll have full-length reviews for you guys coming soon. Bye!